In this video, I'm going to show you how to create AI agents using JotForm's AI Agent Builder. So before we start, let's understand what is an AI agent. So unlike chatbots, which have predefined scripts, AI agents can actually make decisions, learn from interactions, and complete tasks without any human interaction. Now, let's understand some benefits of AI agents. First is personalization. So they provide custom responses based on the user. Then 24 seven support. So they're available anytime and they can help users. Then global reach. So they can speak in any language and can translate conversations. And lastly, knowledge based training. So you can train these agents based on some information and then all the responses will be based off that. So now that we know what they are, let's start building one. So I'm going to head over to my PC. So here I've come to my browser and I'll first go to jotform.ai. So this is the website and search for this. And then to create your AI agent, just click on this purple box. And this is the first step. Now we have to select the AI agent channel that best suits us. So if you want to have a chatbot or a phone or WhatsApp, they have all these options. For now, I'll just keep standalone. So for this video, the AI agent that I create will be for customer service. So I'll give all the prompts and training based on that. Now click on next and here they have some options. So you can connect it to a form if you have, or you can use some templates. If you click on this, you can see all of the different AI agent templates, which they have. But for now I'll go back and just create one from scratch. So select start from scratch that's here. And the first thing we have to do is give a prompt. So this needs to briefly describe the AI agent and what work we want them to do for us. So I'll select customer support at the bottom and I'll personalize this a bit more to suit my need. So for now, I'll create a customer service agent for a clothing business. So I'll give a prompt related to that. Now click on create and it's making the agent for us. And here we've got our agent. So the first thing we can do is customize the look of our agent so we can change the avatar, upload images. I'll show you how to do this. Just click on this button that's over here. And first we can change the avatar. So here we have three options. In the gallery, they have quite a few agents already there. Or if you want to generate one with the prompt, you can do that as well. So you can give a description. For example, if you want them to be holding an iPad in their hand, you can type that and then that's what you will get. Or if you want to upload your own avatar, Click on the third option, which is upload. For now, I'll use the example which they've given. I'll just type wearing headphones. And let's say I want this one. I can just select it. And now the avatar has changed. After that, we can click on style. That's the second page over here. And here we can change the theme and appearance. So this will be the entire look when we're interacting with our AI agent. So they have some schemes over here. And then if you want to modify the background, the heading, all of these options are over here. If you're done with this, then we can go to the next page that's train and it's on top over here. So this is the main page when it comes to building our AI agent, because over here we can define the roles, the personality. Then they have this feature called level of chattiness. So here we can decide how long the responses should be. And we can also give more instructions, which I'll show you now. So in this, the first section that we'll go to, is a persona. It's the first option over here. And now think of your AI agent as a person. So this is all of the information about that person, his personality and everything else. The first thing that we can do is give a name. After that, we can give a role. So this is the current role and you can change it if you want. Then chattiness. This is what I was talking about. So for customer support, we should select either minimalist or short, but based on your use case, you can change this by just dragging it. After that, the language and then the tone of voice. So again, you can change these if you want to. And now coming to the conversation style. So here we need to give prompts to the AI agent of how it should talk to users. So since this is for customer support, as you can see, these are the kind of prompts which are given, like always respond promptly and courteously to users. The same way, if you want to add one, just click on add new. And now you can just type it in over here. So this is the first section. And now coming to the second section, which is knowledge base. So just select knowledge base over here. 
And here, it's possible to add information by either writing it, uploading a document, entering a link. So this is all of the information that is specific to your use case. So since we're creating this agent for our clothing app, what we can do is just click on link. And here we can put the link to our website. After that, if you have some specific knowledge, you can just click on knowledge that's here. And now just type in all of the information. As you can see, they've said product features, customer FAQs, etc. Or if you have a brochure, you can upload that. And the last option is questions and answers. So if you're expecting a few questions, you can just enter the question over here and then provide the answer that you'll want this AI agent to provide as well. So personally, I feel this section is the most important because here we can provide all of the knowledge that this AI agent will need when users ask it questions. So for this, you should take your time and upload all of the information which you have because then it will better this AI agent's performance. Then coming to the next section, that's actions. So here we can define actions and basically provide scenarios and teach the AI agent what it should do in each scenario. So for now, I'll give you one example. So next to when, if you select this box. So here what I'll type is when the user asks about a brochure, then the AI agent should send an email. So next to do, I'll just select this option, then scroll down and click on send mail. So here you'll want to attach the brochure. So we can attach that from here. Then we can change the subject, the content. And once you're done, just click on save. So this is one action. The same way you can keep adding more and more actions based on scenarios which you feel can happen. After that, they have a section called tools. So these are all of the different things that the AI agent can do. So you can just go through this. And here's an example. If you wanted to search a website for you and provide details, you can just select find in website. Then over here, you can provide a prompt, then provide the details of the website and keywords. So like this, you can go through the others. Then the next section is forms. So over here, we can connect forms to our agent if we want to. So here, if we want our agent to use some form data, then we can do that. And the last option is teach your agent. This is basically a playground. So here I can ask questions and see the responses. And if I want to better it, then I can tell the agent whether the response is good or bad and if any improvements are needed. So here's an example. So this is what I've asked that I want to return my clothes. And here's the response. But let's say I want a shorter response next time. Then what I can do, I can just tell it next time provide me a shorter answer. And you can see, here's what it's saying. It's updated its persona and it's given us the before and after. And if you think this is good, then just click on yes, proceed. So like this, you can keep training it. You can keep chatting and providing improvements to this agent. And once you're done with this entire training process, the last thing we need to do is publish this agent. So click on publish that's over here. And here on the left, we have all of the different publishing methods but I'll show you my favorite three. The first one is just by copying the link and sharing it. So if you click on copy link, and if I open this in a new tab, as you can see, I can chat with my AI agent over here. Then the next method is via a QR code or through some app. So it's these options over here. And the last way is if you have a website, then just select embed that's over here. Then they have these different styles and the code for each of these styles. And that's it. It's taken us just 10 minutes to create this customer service agent and we can keep improving it by training it. So before we end, the last thing I want to show you is the AI agent in action. So I've trained it a bit. I'll show you that. Here, as you can see, I've given this information and now I'll ask questions related to this and let's see if it works. So first I'll ask about the return policy. And as you can see, this is exactly the information which we had provided to it. Then I've also provided information about the number of days to ship and the cost. So I'll ask a question related to that. Again, as you can see, the answer is same as the information that we provided. So this is how it works. And I've provided a link in the description so you can check it out. 
That's it for today. Goodbye.